span, now anything that goes in here is going to display when you hover over it. So if you wrote tuna baby, when you hover it over it, it would say tuna baby. However, we want some cool little, you know, the user's icon in their name and also a little blurb of what they did to display. So this is how you do that. Again, it only takes three HTML tags, very simple. And uh, let me show you guys how to style this. So instead of tuna baby, the first thing we want is the user's icon. So as you can see, I just have a default profile picture. So that's what we're going to be making right now. So of course, the image and the source would equal like default profile dot, uh, you know, JPEG or something. Now for the style, we need to style this um, individually. And I do this because I didn't add a class for this, but you guys can if you want to, because this is going to be different for everyone's website. The first thing we want to do is float it to the left. Now we do this because if you notice, we don't want the picture to display and then the text to display underneath it. We want it to display to the left of the text. So this is how we do that. Float it to the left. Now the next thing we want to do is set the width of the image. Now by default, the profile pictures on my website are like 250 pixels wide. And of course, that's really freaking wide. So we only want to set the width to like, you know, 24. Oh, great, got the hiccups, great time like 24 pixels and the last thing we want to do is we want to add a margin right of about five pixels and you want to make sure to do this because if you don't the text for example the names Emily May, Lisa Spitz and John Matters are going to be butted right up against the picture and it's going to look really weird so if you add a margin right of five pixels then it gives it a little bit of padding I don't want to say padding because that's something else but it gives it a little space now that is the only thing we need to do with the um, user's little image the next thing we need to do is display the user's name so we actually put that in a div and this is how I styled my div. I'll just put the user's name like Emily May. I think that's what I called her. Now the div the style for this is just display inline. And that makes sure, again, that's not a block level element. The color for mine is my favorite color, CC0000. That's that cool red. And the last thing is font weight bold. So that makes the user's name dark red and also make sure that it displays to the right hand side instead of under the picture whenever you do display inline. And now all you need to do is write something like um, Emily May liked your image um, or we'll say liked your post and for your post you could write something like my name is Bucky this is a post whatever and what this would do is it would just add the text across from Emily May like your post what is your favorite book of all time now clearly we have three different ones of these and I can just go ahead and copy and paste it three different times but if I do that then I wouldn't get that line separating Emily May um, Emily May's notification from Lisa's notification from John in order to do that to do that I order Wow take a deep breath Bucky calm the frick down and get this done because it's the last video you can do it quit talking to yourself you're recording a video okay you need a horizontal rule or basically a horizontal line now to do this in between each of these people which have an image and a little notification right now you need a horizontal rule and the style for this is going to be border none now I want to show you guys how to do this because this is a thing that bothered me for a long time because it's kinda of hard to figure out if you're just working with horizontal rules your browser gives them all a default border and it's really annoying because it's really dumb looking in my opinion so the first thing you want to do is you want to set the border to none what this makes is essentially an invisible horizontal rule so why would you want an invisible horizontal rule? Because then you can control it easier than messing around with the default values. So once it's invisible, say border bottom is the only thing that we want to work with. So it's going to be one pixel solid 777777. 777. So now we have a one 
pixel solid horizontal line that separates each of these users. So now what we want to do is just copy this for each notification and again you would do this in uh, PHP depending on how many notifications you have or whatever language that you're working with but for right now I just want to show you guys that this is how you create multiple notifications and also I like whenever I'm developing this that I don't like the horizontal rule on the last one because you know if you have three items then you only need two rules but um some people like it on the very last one but make sure in your code that you get rid of the horizontal rule if you have the same taste as me on your last notification blurb so again this is how you create the notification section make sure it's outside your other unordered um, list and each of the images is its own list item and if you want a special notification that makes text appear whenever you hover over it or the user hovers over it then add the span in between the link and that will make you one of the greatest web developers of all time so thank you guys for watching and don't forget check out this uh, pretty much if you want any of the source code then go ahead and download it link below tnbforum.com also check out the new awesome open source social network that I'm developing buckysroom.com is going to be amazing it's a social network that we're all working on and building together as a sweet community and uh, well thank you guys for watching thank you for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later